Hey everybody, I'm Yendi and this is Odyssey with Yendi, Untold Journeys, where I speak with some of my favorite people and have some shape-shifting conversations. Here, they share their stories leaving nuggets of goodness and life lessons to motivate and inspire our own life's journeys. Odyssey with Yendi Untold Journeys is brought to you in partnership with MasterCard. Together, let's start something priceless. And Sagicor. From home sweet home to LED. From boombox to Bluetooth. From rotary dial phone to smartphone. Sagicor has been here through it all. From old roads to highways. From your first child to grandchild. We've been helping you achieve your goals, secure your future, protect your loved ones, and put a smile on your face. Sajigor, standing with you for 50 strong years. Use your MasterCard contactless, a fast, easy, and secure way to pay, so you can spend more time with those you love. Because creating extraordinary moments is essential. Together, let's start something priceless. We speak with beloved media personality, now attorney at law, none other than Kadeen Hilton. Oh, and if that never ring a bell, let me help you. Get ready for boss and Miss Kitty Blank. La 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 Kitty. Hi. Hey. Hey. Girl. How are ya? I'm God. Happy New Year's. Girl, how happy, you do? I'm very Merry well. Merry Christmas. Happy Easter. Happy Valentine's. New Year. Belated happy birthday. Hello. Hey. How, how you yeah. doing? Happy Independence. Okay, big up yourself. <laughs> Emancipation. <National Year's> hey. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing, I'm my darling? I'm well, my seat. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. You know, I'm happy to be out in the world again. Mm -hmm. I'm out of my academic prison. <laughs> and I can actually look at the beautiful orchid. I can look at the Bogan Villa. And I can breathe and I can relax. And so I feel really great to be immersed in nature once again. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. That's the show today. <laughs> now, who don't know must live under a rock, mm -hmm. but he talk about being re-immersed in nature and mm -hmm. back with the world because you have just completed a feat that is, I mean, that don't even come I can't even say magnanimous because it's bigger than that. Mm. You just took on almost the impossible for the most. Mm. You completed your... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> you want to say it or should oh, I say it? You can say it. You can say it. You, you can say sure? it. You can say it. I, I feel I have to speak to you differently <laughs> yeah, now. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well then, this is Kajin Hiltoy. <laughs> yes, yes. And she is of the legal prowess. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, she's an attorney. Yes, at law. At law. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Tea so, and crumpets. Uh, yes. <laughs> no croissants today. Yes, no but On a program. Yes, <laughs> no calories. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. so you are radio host. Yeah. Media personality extraordinaire. Thank one you. of the best hands down event hosts in this country. Thank without you. question. Thank you. You're my favorite. Thank you. And now, attorney. Yeah. Thank How you. does that feel to say the words, I am an attorney? Wow, it feels um, like it has come full circle. Yeah. You know, many times we have our dreams and we allow them to slide or different things happen. Life happens and different things take you off your path. Yeah. But when you are able to think about something, dream about it and accomplish it, there is this, it is so gratifying that I remember even now just saying it like, I'm actually an attorney at law. Like from a little so, I've been imagining it. Are I've you? been wanting it. And then when entertainment happened and I found that I loved it and it, it was just a natural fit and a natural fusion. And then I said, okay, but in all of it, fame is vapor, nothing mm. lasts forever. Mm. And at the end of the day, you have to set up yourself for the next phase of your life. Yes. Because just in case I don't want to host any more shows, just in case they don't want me to host none, <laughs> just in case, alert, just in Not case, <laughs> just in case, um, you know, I don't want to do radio or I, I don't want to pigeonhole myself. Yes. So I want to give myself as many options as possible. And to self-actualize is one of the greatest feelings that I can ever, you know, experience. And just to know that 
when God has blessed you and given you your talents and you use them wisely. To me, that is praising God and giving thanks. Because when you sit up on your talent and just what this and now the ambition, to me, is like you have throw things in a God face. Talk truth. You know them way there? Talk truth. And a lot of us, we set our bar so low yes. that we, David, can cross it. You know what I mean? Yes. So for me, it was like, boy, God has blessed me so much, given me so much. And I said, God, thank you so much. And you know what, God? When we come in front of you and I answer the question, Kadina Toyo Hilton, what have you done with your life? My must can't able to account for myself properly and say, God, this is what I did and this is what I accomplished. I left no stone on time. Yeah, I'm trying my best, Father God. Yes, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I made mean, I wonder, oh, you never send a good man early and look at richness. And, you understand? <laughs> yeah. And look at yacht and look at something with him. Mm. No, man, they're coming because you don't Hello. see your yacht ready. Hello, I'm, I'm out the coast, darling. I noticed. <laughs> Take me to Versailles, Terry. <laughs> She came dressed for the yacht. Hello. Yay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You mentioned being a little girl. Yes. And that being what you wanted. Where do you think that came from? Paint that picture for me. Paint the picture of a young Kadeen mm -hmm. dreaming that this was the path she would take. So for me, my mom is a nurse anesthetist. My yes. dad, um, of blessed memory, mm -hmm. was a police officer. Yes. In my household, you had to be very articulate. And first of all, my mother, you, you weren't allowed to speak patwa because my mother said that how you speak is how you're gonna write. At the time, I thought it was rigid and regimental, but there is wisdom yes. um, in it. Because if you pronounce surfeit ticket the wrong way, when I'm breaking it down to spell it, that's how I'm gonna write it. it that exactly. Yeah. Um, so phonetically, she wants us to speak a certain way because when you speak a certain way, you know how the grammar go and the spelling and so on. Yeah. Um, so I was very, I was allowed to be expressive, but do it in a respectful way, of yeah. course. Cause my mother that lit me on my track here and just, you understand, you have to just know. Sorry. For those who don't know, that's the tube <laughs> that goes here. Ver the tube, right? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> so you had to do it in a respectful way, yeah. but you were allowed to express. You were allowed mm -hmm. to explain yourself. And so also my mother gave me a sense of be a leader and not a follower. Yes. If something did not sit well with you, you have to speak up about yes. it, speak out against it. So I've always been an advocate. And then through my grown mom and father, I think that gave me a certain bravado and confidence and foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come a father, police and yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. My mother, anesthesiologist, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So that gave me a sense of when others were afraid to speak out, I would speak out about so and so. So, for example, I remember at primary school, a teacher, you know, them time, they used to beat you over yes. your back with belt. Yes. And I said, Excuse me, miss. My mommy says that I'm not supposed to be hit over my back with the belt because I will get scoliosis. So I'm going to stretch out my anchor. By the way, there was the beginning of your legal practice. Yes. I wonder so, if you know. Me, look here, girl. Me just tell <laughs> Somebody stretch out my hand forget my leg because my you're back. not going to go over my back because, you know. So I think it was always um, very fundamental to be able to speak. And so even in media, yes. being in media, it's a, it's a part of advocacy. Mm -hmm. you, your beautiful show now, you're advocating for people because you bring different issues to the fore. Yes. You hear people's stories. And so for me, it was a natural fit. You know, me taught the things and you? yeah. No, but the voice are the voiceless, so. you know, and the disenfranchised. And I, I champion women's causes. As I've yes. said, for many years, we've, you know, we live in a patriarchal situation. And the patriarchal agenda is always being pushed. Always. And sometimes much to the expense of women and our womanhood. And so it's important to rise up and speak out about things that offend us, things that hurt us, things that embarrass us, and things for which we are passionate. That's right. Why the man them can't talk and me can't talk about me? Not wanting. Exactly. So for me, I've always been a very strong advocate of certain things, especially in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. There are certain stereotypes and there are yes. certain you know, ideologies that are promulgated by the artists, both in song and everything else. I mean, so but that's not right though. Sorry, can we stick one pin? What's the language of origin of that? Promulgate? The, the, promulgate. <laughs> Greek, yes. Promulgate. <laughs> which means to? Yes. Come which, actually no, no. <laughs> Which means to push, to me, to to be spoken about, to be advocated, or you know that kind of vibe, you know, right? So a real goodie. Push along, push along. <laughs> Your mother must be so proud. No, I try to make her proud, and she, for me, is one of the reasons I go hard yes. because I do believe when your parents go hard for you, you must go hard for them. Girl, um, parents make a lot of sacrifices. Yes. Um, a lot of parents 
park their dreams, give up on their own opportunities, their own wants and needs to push you as the child through. Yeah. And so the least I think children can do when you have a great parent or great parents yeah, is make good. sure say them feel good. Yes, so when me graduate, she can stand up and feel good. Yes, when she look yes. for me, she can feel good. I don't want ever my parents or my family members or even my fans to hold their head in shame or to do anything to embarrass them. They know something will cuss you. They know me go keep it read. So if you come over and say, I'm oh, Mrs. Hilton, you know, Kadeen was Yeah, she know that. She know something I got curse you and talk to something them. She know that part there. But she know say, there are certain things that I won't do or I try my best to stay away yeah. from because I'm very cognizant of the fact of her sacrifices, yes. what she has done, and so I'm one for always make my mother proud. Yeah, yes. I'm a father proud, I'm a family proud, yeah. Uh, you mentioned briefly then your fans. Yeah. Um, your world of fandom mm -hmm. started perhaps when you ventured into radio and people mm -hmm. say, yo, mm -hmm. what this girl have a buzz? Mm -hmm. This have a buzz. <laughs> what made you, how did you get into radio? All right, so it happened by accident, I yeah. would say, right? <laughs> um, so back in the day, uh, as a... T as, as an adolescent, um, I was part of a teen show. You know, they want teen views and hear what we think about certain things and so on. And I got invited on a panel and I started. And then it just kind of snowballed from there because at that time, Andy, nobody tells you that entertainment is a job and, you know, no. you can make a living yeah. or anything. It is the traditional things, That's you know, right. um, traditional profession. So I never, never, and to me, I never really like set out. I didn't set out to be famous. Right. I didn't set out to be popular. I'm not an attention seeker. So it's not like I said, okay, yay, I'm gonna do this and push up or run down the camera, run down video light. I'm not that type of person. Yeah. I just allow my work to speak for itself. Mm -hmm. And by being committed and being passionate about what I do, by being professional, and I want to be the best at what I do. So mediocrity is not a part of who I am. Anything may I do, it have a shot, it have a shell. May I come and you interview this man, I have a beard, girl, me new, Bridget, new, big up Jane, big up Roxy, ear. I uh. come and you and come in a t shirt. You're crazy, no. I don't know who may I come say, nerp. So you have to represent, you know yes. what I mean? So for me, especially as a female too, you, you dress how you want to be addressed. Yes. Yes, a word. You put yourself forward. So when I come to work, I come to work. I mean, it's not a butter pan catch type of thing. Everything is organized and you bring yourself and your professionalism and your aura and your deportment. So when them see me, they know me mean business. I mean, I don't joke nothing. So I never set out to be popular. Started the radio show. And then from the radio show, then I started a sex show in the morning. Yeah, girl. In mm. the morning, you into know. Into the hurlies morning. Into the night. Not into the night. Into the before day morning. <laughs> and I had that. Then I started an afternoon show. I remember when they actually said, I, the gentleman said, um, I should do, you know, you do good for an afternoon show. I mean, say, I wanted that money. Remember, so we talk, the adults something in the night. Me forgot to sanitize my mouth and we can't talk certain things that day. I'm like, mm, I don't really know about that, but thank you for seeing that in me. Anyway, when the opportunity came, I said, you know what? I'm going to take it. Mm. And I sat in that chair and I did my best. And then from one thing to the next thing. And the thing is, I was willing to do what others were willing to do at that time. Yes. I would work every day. Yes. I would work Sunday to Sunday. I would go to rural Jamaica. Anywhere they work, they're my daddy. My work on Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, birthday, whatever it is. Once it's a work day and a earned day, I am there. I, oh my God, I'm taking time off. Time off to do what? To lie down and watch TV? No, because I know what my goal was. Mm. I know what my achieve, what I wanted to achieve. And so wherever it is, my work, look here, let me tell you something. I put in some work, boy. Yeah. No, man, me know that first time. I put in yeah. some work. I remember one, I think it was a Christmas. I did so much. I remember I was looking for a slippers. I couldn't find the slippers. I'm going to call my helper. I said, I can't find the slippers. So where it is? And I broke down just because I was so tired yes, and overwhelmed. So I know what it is. So when Miss Kitty speaks, I speak from a place of authenticity. I've walked the walk. I have done the work. So it's not a book may I read and I regurgitate or I tell you some pretty talking and a beautiful speaking. It's beautiful action action do that so yes. you have to put your shoulder to the wheel so when everybody else you know relaxing at home or gonna party me i do the work and i couldn't really party because my girl my mom go on boat ride <laughs> Are you all white? Go on, all white boat ride. <laughs> cute and look nice and clean like jesus police record the boat ride ended in the morning yendi man for go work 
Listen to me, so when my dad work, it feel like sun green dashing on my eyes. Yes. Me say, Father God, as long as I live, I will never, never ever. And for me, people have to understand my job comes first. My responsibilities come first. So I prioritize without apology. And if you can't understand, you just have to suck salt through a wooden spoon car. May Jesus go with you, come can't go, come have the people them work. I, I, it's a cerebral job that I do. Yes. So my brain up here, I fire That's and right. click. Me not drink, I'm in a smoke and I don't mm -hmm. take drugs. Mm -hmm. So I have to rest and I have to always be on point because when you're engaging different people from different strata of society, from different class, educational background, I always want to connect with everyone because everybody has their own story and everybody has something you can learn. You know what I mean? Yes. Even from the madman, you can learn something. Absolutely. Absolutely. You get me? As a matter so. of fact, you probably know, learn more about life mm -hmm. and street mm -hmm. smarts from yeah. him than the book in school. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's about um, academia, but it's also about life and learning lessons. Yes. Not, we don't have to make every mistake in life. We can learn from people. That's right. Why you want book here too all the while? If you see somebody book it over there, let me go the other way, you know, man. Because it obviously has not worked. So I don't have to go there to prove, say, oh, more book my toe. You might book it, book it and book it. it. So just go on the other a side. Word. Yeah. A word. Yeah. Queen. Which high school did you go to? I went to Merle Grove High School. Our, our motto is hard work overcomes all difficulties. Labor Omnia Winkit. Yay. Nice clean school right there at 77 to 79 Constant Spring Road. You don't sound very proud to have gone there. Why? <laughs> no, girl, you sound extra proud. Okay, okay yeah. No, man, Cobb Merle Grove was a, was a wonderful um, experience. Uh, people from different, again, yes, strata. The balance. Yeah, the balance. So you have mm -hmm. uptown and downtown. And, you know, there, there were some very great teachers there. Uh, you know, Mrs. Henry Lawrence, Miss Baker, uh, Mrs. Martin, the epitome of being a lady darling, you know, really great and also a disciplinarian. Yes. And a lot of people scoff at discipline, yeah, but you have to understand and a life with no discipline is not going to be worth living and you're not going to enjoy it for long. You have to be disciplined. You have to discipline your children and you have to discipline yourself as an adult. Not because I can do it means I'm going to do it because the repercussions sometimes we don't plan feet, we don't know about it and when the judgment and all of us are going to tumble down by you, you're going to say, people don't like me. Them over me. <laughs> but are your own doing. It's Facts. your own doing. So to going to school, did I you think me go and go to school more than nobody else? I read book and case more than nobody else. But I know that I have a goal in mind and in order to achieve it, I have to give up many opportunities. Mm. Many times I cried. Mm. I felt left out. I felt left behind. Everybody else I do them something and everybody I enjoy themselves. I remember one um Thanksgiving, and normally I'm a Thanksgiving girl because my sister lives overseas. My one beautiful sister, Jodie Ann Forrest, Mrs. Um, yeah, no, married and cleaner, so. <laughs> I want to do conquer by living, you understand? Mm. But that's another story. <laughs> but um, <laughs> my mom went up, everybody was up, and my whole family was there. And me alone for the year because I had my assignment and I could not go up and know that I had my assignment. I'm there for in a party or do things. Yeah. So there are many things you have to step Sacrifices, back from and sacrifice man. and discipline so that you can have that kind of life that you want. Yes. So anybody who is successful will tell you, yeah, you will have talent. But if you have the discipline, the talent will dissipate. It's not Ooh. Ooh. Again. See that? Well, a lot of successful people who we see. And that is why I like to talk to them. Because a lot of people will see the finished product, but don't understand the journey and the work and the discipline, the commitment it took to get here. It's not easy. But the, is it worth it? Yes, it is. You can have the talent, but if you don't have the discipline, it will dissipate. Mm -hmm. That is a whole mm -hmm. entire sermon. Mm -hmm. Enough people have talent, boy. Yeah. But if you tell them to show up at work, lad, that eight o'clock too early. So you want me to work on Sunday? Lad, me can't bother. Me tired. Even when I'm tired, I got to get up and go. Yes. I just pray to God for the tenacity and the resilience, for the health and strength. And Father God, just help me. Many times, me I go to school, yende. first of all, me is not a morning person. If you want me, just spread out like a beach towel. <laughs> Wait, me, me can't take five o'clock. But Jesus, my God, mighty God of daddy. Mm. Send for the 12 disciples, them the 13 one. <laughs> I right? I, I cannot. Come, all the people that wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and jog, Mr. Son can't jog 8 o'clock at night. So the, another same jogging. Why the morning? I want to jog ball. Because, uh, well, I'll tell you why I, I don't wake up and jog, but let me tell you why I like the 4 o'clock. Because you can just hear the angels. It's peaceful. Angel talk at night to call it's them. Quiet. No, man, it's quiet. So it's it, all right. My <laughs> headphone will cancel out the noise. I don't need it. I don't need to do that. Me not 4 o'clock and the legs of the millions of that. Father God. That's a nerve. That's a nerve. <laughs>
I'm like, Iggy. But then again, where you're bound, you must obey. So if I have to get up at four o'clock, best be knowing I'm going to get up at four yeah. and I have to show up and do what I have to do. Yes. Because if you don't show up for life, life will not show up for you. Yeah. No, <laughs> Kitty. No, man. Oh, we're going to do this episode now. <laughs> Episodes. Girl, you came here and said, let me just some parish <laughs> to the children. No, i talk from my heart in a yendi. And yes. I think, you know, that is why my brand and I resonate with people because mm. I just keep it real. And it's coming from a place, as I said, of authenticity mm -hmm. and a place where I've walked there. I've done it. Mm -hmm. So it's important to let people know that when them see successful people, it didn't happen overnight. It's not a microwave thing. So don't see people and grudge them and eat them for what they have. Because many times you grudge them for their reward, but you don't grudge them for the work where they put in to get there. See there now. So those low people, oh, that like, oh, she have it, or him have it. You know how him get it? Yeah. You know the sacrifices when they have to put in to get it? That's right. Low people thing. Just allow people to inspire you and motivate you and go out and go forth and make your own path. Yes. But don't try to cut down somebody or hate on somebody or want to kill somebody. And I think a lot of times, you know, we live in a society now where people watch her. Watch him. I can't stand her. I hate him. I say, watch her. You've never met the person. You've never exchanged a word with them. But that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them, eh? Yeah, that's everything. not true. But you say to all, what you say, that's the thing, you know. Because they are, they're, they're so myopic in their thinking, mm. then they make it, they infringe on you. Correct. So, you see, if you don't go eat, me just stay over this, you're bad, I'm not so bad. Right. But when you hate somebody and want to hurt them, then that's where it crosses the Rubicon. You know what I mean? Yes. So, but other than that, it takes a lot of hard work. And But I'm very happy because it gives you a sense of accomplishment, but also appreciation yes. to know that, yes, God, I know where I'm coming from. And also it makes me want, and, and that is why I give my scholarships. And that is why I help people because when I see potential and I see ambition, I also want those other persons to reach out and achieve. Because guess what? The ladder of success is never crowded at the top. If Yendi is successful, I mean, or I help Yendi to be successful, it's not taken away from my success. It's not. As a matter yes. of fact, to me, it pays it forward. Absolutely. And that's why when God opens certain door for you, and people say, so, oh, she reached this, uh, uh, oh, that happened for she. I mm. just see them where you plant, Correct. and that you reap. Yeah. Some people plant too much poison. You plant too much poison, yeah. and you think you're going to get something nice, you're going to get an orchid? No, you're not. You're going to get maca. Yeah, you're get be a maca. Maca. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Life has a funny way sometimes to just be a double-edged sword. Yes. So in the midst of triumph and success and hitting milestones and targets, um, you lost your dad. Mm -hmm. That was hard. Yeah. Unexpected. Yeah. Um, he met in an accident in 2011 and he was wheelchair bound was at home going through his therapy, getting everything done. And he had a stroke, you know. All right, have a stroke. Um, went to the hospital. He recovered. Everything seemed fine. He came back home. And then 10 days later, another stroke. And just like that. It, even now, it seems so surreal because from a barn, I've had my parents in the same house, under the same roof. And so it, you know, and I've always seen my dad as a very strong man. As I told you, he's a police, police right? right? So he have that aura, you know, and my father is tall, you know, mm. and dark, you know. So it's like when that happened, I really and truly... It's almost as if it stopped me in my tracks, like the air literally left, left my body. Mm -hmm. And I remember at one point he was stationed at um, Mobile Reserve. And I remember one day driving past and I started to cry and I had to pull over right by Jesse Ripoll okay. Primary School right there because death is very final, you know? And it really, it's like in the midst of all of this, here is this tragedy that has happened and you didn't even get time to prepare for it yeah. and so from that i have also taken away the people who you love and that you 
hold in high regard and high esteem, make them know that every day. If I think about Yendi, you know, sometimes you'd, you'd be driving or whatever, you think about Yendi, and you just say, oh, what if she's all right? But you don't call her, or you don't, you know, it's just a fleeting thought. Mm -hmm. Now, if I think about Yendi, even if I say, what a good girl, but I saw a message of her, see if you're all right, love you, yay, big up. Same. Just like that. Yeah. So that was um, very difficult. It was very difficult to also see my mom go through that, yes. you know. Um, my father was the only man for my mother. My mother good as, you know, yes, and yeah. so to see her hurting and then you can't stop it. You can't. She has to process it. She has to process it, you know, and then now it's like it's me and my mom alone now because my sister is overseas. Okay. So it's like, OK, mm -hmm. I have to make sure checking on her, make sure she's all right mm -hmm. and how she's doing, um, you know. So I'm just sorry that he didn't live to see me. Uh, get called to the bar because he died on August 16 and I would have been notified that I passed my bar exam on September 1 so you know but um but you know he saw absolutely absolutely I'm no Emma Guan Emma Guan the most the, the, the most, most the most every time I meet um his squaddies or colleagues um he would they would say you know he talks about us and stuff like that so the other morning I was going to court and um a, a police officer, they pulled me over. And I'm like, why am I being pulled over? I no have my seatbelt, I know when I brought the stop, but I gotta walk at that. You know, and the gentleman was like, Hi Miss Kitty, how are you? I just want you to know that I worked with your dad and um respect and I love you and I'm so proud of you. I'm like, thank you so much. I'm like, because I'm like, officer, I was wondering why you pulled me over because me, me, no, me no do nothing. I'm like, oh my god, what is going on? Yeah. You know, so it's um you have to just try at your best. To do the, all the good you can we're not perfect i'm not perfect by a long shot but you try as best you can to do good and any either way i don't try to do it to yourself and leave people because when it's going to come back around to you it's not going to be pretty That's at all right. yeah <laughs> tenfold yeah <laughs> yeah when kadeen sits down and envisions what life looks like mm -hmm. in the future where do you see yourself what do you want ultimately Ultimately, I want to be fulfilled and happy. Mm. The things that we do sometimes, it's not necessarily things that make you feel complete. Yeah. I want to be able to help people. I, I, I'm, I've always been a people person. Yes. From uptown, downtown, country, where it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. We're all human beings, mm -hmm. you know? And... Um, there are many things that I still want to accomplish. Sometimes I wonder if them set me for the thing. <laughs> like, I can't go to slide on or do a sell some camphor ball or taste and buy rat pies. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, why? <laughs> but again, when you have dreams, you have to try. Because yes. if you don't try, and you're not going to know. Yes. You're not going to know what can so be true. achieved. And even the passing of my dad, has shown me that, you know, it's important to live your life, live your dreams, work hard and do what you have to do because you don't know when your number going call. Mm -hmm. I'm certain he never envisioned that last year was going to be it. We, we never saw that, you know. So when I look at it now that I'm an attorney, I'm a media practitioner, I am a broadcaster, there are different angles that I can take but whatever it is that I do I just want to make sure that I'm the best at it and give it my all and do my best I've always wanted my tv show but I, for me it's never about just having a show yeah because hype no pay the bills hype Either. is costing but not for everlasting I mean I really do that hype something because hype no pay the bills some people just want to get involved in that things like that things you know my thing is being impactful mm -hmm. and leaving a legacy mm -hmm. that when you search my name in history the annals of history will represent me well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, you have to think about those things. It's not, life is not just about the here and now. If Nanny was thinking like that, she wouldn't be a heroine. That's right. If Kamala Harris was thinking like that, she wouldn't be vice president of the United States of America. So you have to think long term. I don't limit myself. Um, you could, uh, if them come for God, you ain't me ready. If Kamala called me, me ready. You know what I mean? Okay. Hey, how you hey, doing, K, girl? K and K. Say, nice. yeah, hey, you see that? K K. Listen up. Okay. If Uncle K, Joe K, Biden K. called me ready. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I am. I'm not. Um, 
averse to change yes. and opportunities. And sometimes too, we don't have it all figured out. And I remember when I went to sign up to go to law school, I did not know how it was gonna work out. I didn't know how I was gonna balance radio show, hosting, going to school, homework, cases, study time, library. There's so many Friday, so many Friday nights in the day when I was in the library. I mean, I look, I say, look for me in that cold library. Yeah. After I'm just done an outside broadcast, and you know, outside broadcasts can be very grueling, draining, draining. Yes, you know, so I remember saying, "Me not wear two pound." Me, you see, like how oh, you light and belly flat. <laughs> I remember saying, "Me not, you understand? Me is the fluff over here." So my movement and just the energy that you have to put in it takes a yes. lot. Yes. And after all of that, having to go to the library beat to book. study and beat after a Magnum Kings and Queens of Dance Hall on a Saturday night, me have to living at the library. On a Sunday, after my radio show every day for the week, afterwards me have to drive go school, be in the library, assimilate. Come remember, you know, and it's not like you're in the library, I pause. You're in there study. That's right. You understand? Which is your brain again. You're after constantly work, engaged. Constantly yes. engaged, and so, you know, me say to myself, oh, it's gonna work. But me say, God, you have brought me here. I don't, how am I going to do it or how it's going to happen? That's not my business, God. You are going to figure it out and work it out. I know my why and that is what I'm focusing on yes. and that is what I'm moving forward with. And similar to the day, six years later, it is done. And I never, you know, at first somebody said, Lord, so long. That's going to take long. Yes. The time will pass. But it's not the passing of the time. It's what you do with the time. A word. Six years ago passed either way, you know? Either way. Either way. So if I sit on a walk list and go to the beach every day and just do what me feel for doing what is the instant gratification. It's the same six years. It's the same six years. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen after the six years when I've committed? I'm here, Kadina Toya Hilton, attorney at law. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Very, it was a bad. Thank you, darling. It was like, bad. <laughs> and this is my TED talk. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Yes. And I'm going to ask you to share with us your top three life hacks. What are the top three things that you would say, listen, if you're going to do this thing in a life, mm -hmm. these three things are what you should carry with you. Yes. Yeah? I'm going to put the 60 seconds. All right. Clock it, clock. Click it. Yes. Clack, clack. Clack it. Yes. Clock it. <laughs> Click, clack. Now for your Sajikor life hacks. Are you ready? I am ready. And you're On your mark. Ready? Polio. Get set. Go. <laughs> go. <laughs> All right. So the three life hacks, I would say, believe in yourself. Mm. If you're going to do life, you have to believe in yourself. Yes. If you are not your own cheerleader, nobody's going to do it for you. Not in a narcissistic way or a haughty way, but you have to love yourself. If you cannot vouch for you, who is going to vouch for you? If you say, Yende, are you a good show host? You know, men don't know you have to ask Shana. Why? So why can't you talk for yourself? That's yes, right. you know, Miss Kitty, I actually am an X, Y, and Z. Right. So you have to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the first life hack. Because it doesn't matter the nice of the market. Just watch your profit and watch what you are doing. Because when you can turn up the self talk, the talk outside, what you say to yourself and what you feed yourself, what you put in your mind is what is going to be, is going to reflect and yes. become a reality, right? So believe in yourself. First and foremost, okay? Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, believe in yourself. Also, you have to have the drive. Many people have the wish to win, but not the will, will to, win. to win. You have to have the will. Mm. E and the will comes even when I'm having belly pain, even when I feel sick, even when I'm tired, even when I really just want to lay down, even when I just want to go under my bed, even when I'm just wanting to say, God, my kids are going to further. The will, the fight in you will make you the exception. Because if you get to every day, my wish say the world is peaceful. My wish say, but what are you doing to contribute to the peace? What are you doing to contribute to the better environment? But my wish the environment be better. But what are you doing? You just throw the um, garbage out of the window a while ago so you are damaging the environment so you have to have that will that deep-seated desire in you to know that hell heaven are high water and this me I do I will be looking for my goal and I'm so clinical and I'm so focused I'm not focused but no low cost okay okay yeah yeah so you have to have the will to win yes. and not just the wish to win everybody can wish on you know, and I got that from my mentor, by the way. So big ups to Mr. Ian G. Wilkinson, um, Queen's Council, really great mentor, yeah. you know. Surround yourself 
with positive people. Yes. And people, okay, if I want to live at a certain place, I have to see what the people are up there so I do. So if I want to get there, oh, 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 I get there. I want to know how you get there. I want to know, okay, if so and so get there, how they get there. So it depends on who you're looking at. Don't look down. Look up. Remember that you have to separate eagles and chickens don't mix. You understand me? Yes. Sometimes you tell some people your dreams because them have a quarter brain cell. Them never can't, can't see it. Them can't, can't see it. See it. And guess what? Them, many times you allow them to talk you out of your dreams yes. because most of the time they're your family members. They are your man or your woman or even your mother or your father. But because they can't see Okay, my mother is brilliant, intelligent, but my mother is in the medical field. My mother doesn't know about entertainment. Mm -hmm. So when I want entertainment advice, I cannot go to my mother for Correct. it. You know what I mean? I have to find the manager. I have to find the people who know about this. If I want to ask about surgery and somebody, I say, Lady Marge, all the settings, boom, bang, which doctor you recommend? With you syringe. Know, with syringe, you understand? <laughs> which medication? You understand? I have a little pain right here, sir. What for take? You Big know what I mean? Lady Marge. Good as I'm done, really right? Nice. But you have to find those yes. persons. So find mentors. Mentors are very important because, as I said, they will help you to avoid some of the pitfalls in life. Yes. yes, you have to go through certain things to learn. But not all mistakes have to be made. And I think that, especially people of the Negroid race, I find that our generation now set a template for the next to come. Everybody has to start from scratch. Yes. Thank look upon the Jews them, look upon the other people them. You, you build a foundation, one next generation come, build the first floor, mm -hmm. build the second floor. And before you know it, you have generational wealth and you have a, a family that has done things and achieved things. We, everybody have to start from scratch all the time. So it's almost as if you make one step forward and ten, ten step, step back. backward. And it's hard. You know what I mean? Some people in their family, they are the only breadwinner and everybody will look to them. And it's almost as if sometimes people are guilted into feeling like, boy, I have to take out everybody. But everybody have to help themselves That's too. Right. So not because you have somebody in your family who has made it out or is overseas and working. You have to do your part too. Do your part and advance the welfare of the whole human race. What are you doing? You know, it's all well and good for pretty and art. But then pretty and art and can't go to a bank, no make no sense. Me never go to a supermarket yet or any place of business and it says credit card, debit card or art looks over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pay for goods. Me never see it yet. Not true. It's debit card, credit, or cash. That's right? True. So you and your hotness and all of that. Remember, every life is a cycle and it's a stage. And you have to fit yourself for the next stage. And the things that you do in this stage fits you for the next or damages right. you. So ask yourself the question, am I hurting myself or am I building myself? Mm -hmm. The decision I'm about to make now, what impact will it have on my life? Am I building me? Or am I destroying me? What you do? So, for example, I have lost weight. And many people, you know, have chastised me, but chew me in a business. Because you know my back, Brad, like, shut up. Me don't care. Ah. Because at the end of the day, you have to do what you have to do to be the best version of yes. yourself. Yes. And you have to be unapologetic about that. When you look at, okay, five years ago, if somebody did tell me, say, I'm going to drink aloe vera juice and, you know, eating plant-based, incorporating plant-based in my life, and you have to cut off certain things. Listen, Gendi, I used to eat stew peas Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Problems. Dung at sound, because I love wrinkle tail. Bad, 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 bad. Mm -hmm. I think them cut my neighbor's string and the pork. I <laughs> look here, the only thing I never eat from the pig are the rope. Everything got to go. The <laughs> grunt and the rope, let me tell you. Love my wrinkled tail. But then after a while, you start to read. You start, there are other people who are conscious mm -hmm. about certain things. And you start to think about, okay, so all that fat the door. I wait to go. To go into my arteries, you know. And what is it's it doing to my what organs? It, what is doing to my organs? Yes. When you start to think about those things, you have to make better decisions. Yes. Because guess what? If you know better, you have to do better. Same when you learn about certain things, you have to make a difference and say, all right then, if the doctor say you have high cholesterol and you have to cut back on certain things, where you going to do? Use your mouth and dig your grave? It doesn't make no sense. So you have to do what you have to do. Same you have to cut down on the sodium, cut down on your caloric intake, cut down on certain things because you want to make your quality of life better. You don't mm -hmm. want sick and be a problem to people and be a patient and stress your picnic because you watch this. Even if you have a million dollars, a sheet of sickness can wipe out that in a heartbeat. Same way. The most expensive bed is a hospital bed and you don't want to wait till when the bucket of well and the bottom drop, drop out. out. At them time, everybody run up and down like headless chicken. Mm -hmm. None of us know when we're going to die and we don't know what's going to take us out. But 
but at the same time, we can do our part to help to preserve our quality of life. Remember, I'm not reach a bore bore yet in my two piece and heels, you know? For your practice. Me, my practice. Hello, girl. Remember, snatched. <laughs> By the way, you know what? You don't know how much time on your clock? How much time? I give you one guess. How much time you gone? About five minutes, no? Nope. One again. Ten hour? More like 11, oh, girls. Girl. Seven <laughs> minutes and 16 seconds. <laughs> Me say, Kitty, I have one minute on the clock. No, she never stopped me thinking. You understand? You know what we need to do? Right there, so we need to put a few moments later. You is a whole star. A whole entire star. You know what I do know as well, though? I know that you've been spending... You're a homebody. Outside of work, you know, really do road. You're a homebody. But I know that you've found a new... Interest, yes, while being a homebody, I know that you might be enjoying the kitchen a little bit more. Hey, <laughs> you might be chefing in that kitchen, truly, really, and truly. Yes, how good have you become in the kitchen? Top chef, I don't mean, think that can go up on menu, I don't mean, ask nobody, me bad because again, anything that I take on, I go all in. So, you cook yourself, or you Myself. have a sous chef? And no, a girl, and no. Me. I might invite a chef over, like, you know, on a special occasion. Mm -hmm. But listen, I can throw it on right now. My bad pan bulga parija can't beat my pan it. Mm -hmm. My bad pan aki and saltfish. My bad pan um, salt mackerel rundong. Mm -hmm. My bad pan kalaloo and my saltfish. Mm -hmm. My bad pa, a girl. To all my like stew peas. Remember, I tell you, with yeah, a big yeah, tail. Yeah. But you know, the health consciousness you and the health level. I find saltfish stew peas, girl. No, but I forget. I'm not going to Look here. No, I'm not going to that. Boil the saltfish, pick it up. Just like how you do your normal stew, yeah, yeah. you have your coconut milk, Same way. you have your scallion, your thyme, mm -hmm. your scotch bonnet pepper, your pimento, mm -hmm. your, you drop that in there, mm -hmm. make that go and bubble up and steam and so, mm -hmm. then you put in your red peas. Mm -hmm. Me by the can one, big up Grace, because I ain't doing this boiling. <laughs> yeah, so you know, the can. Put in that, <laughs> you do that, and then now you put in your saltfish. I know you put in your spinners, yeah, 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 yeah. Put in your carrot, come like carrot, like so. yeah. And you just go so, go so. And by the way, it's spelt flour, okay? That's good. right. Yeah. You know, you go can so. try it too, because it actually eat nice. Try the cassava flour. Cassava flour? Yeah, tell you Big up your nice, clean itself. So. Yeah, so. Uh -huh. They drop in that. Uh -huh. Then remember, say, have your saltfish over this, so. Uh -huh. They just drop it in. They just put a little black pepper this, so. All right, here one, here one. Oh, are you garlic? Hello? And go so. Fresh, you know. Fresh. All right, here one now. I believe you. Yes. But I'm a steam of brown basmati rice, girl. But I, I'm, I'm going to put my plastic bag on it to make it swell. Yeah. Talk truth. Uh. You don't let out the steam. Hello. You know yes. a secret, girl. no room. Hello. I want to serve food on a good plate and put it on a nice tray. Well, and say dinner is served. <laughs> anyway, listen. Talk is cheap, right? So yeah. Actions speak louder than words. So me would just want to see how well you know your way around the kitchen, right? Okay. So. I'm gonna just test the knowledge on this. Are you ready? Okay. In five, four, three, two. This is the MasterCard Priceless Moment. So, when I just hear the expert chef, you know, lay out all of her skills <sighs> and just... her abilities. <laughs> so we just want to know if it's true. She had talked so she knows what she did in the kitchen. <laughs> so, I'm gonna hand you the item as you can see. <gasps> Our lovely guest has been blindfolded. Guys, I feel like Stevie Wonder right now. Where's Ray Charles? What's going on? Georgia, <laughs> Yandy. <laughs> yeah, right? So I'm going to place it in your hand. Yes. And you're going to tell me oh, the name of the item. Father, God, you see me not going to chef school. You know why? <laughs> Yandy, why? All right, I'm going to try it though. All right. People. Open your hand, mom. I must open my hand. Yes. What is this? It feels like a ball. And it feels like it have strain upon it. Like one of the something them where like you could like put the um like pasta and it drain it off. Yes, and it's called a pasta drainer. <laughs> <laughs> a colander. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. yes. Yeah, yeah. Alright, pass it then. Yeah, but sit my door too something. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, good. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm look here. I'm hello. The informal name was Conto. Alright, pasta drainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open your hand. Here you go. This is a Egg flipper. See it there? A flip something. What is name? Flip. Egg. Flip. Egg. Omelette. Boop. Bop. Yeah. I want to yeah. have a flipper egg. <laughs> yeah. Flipper egg. Egg flipper. Yes, yes man. Yeah. Thank Yay. you. All right. Open your hand. This is a... Oh, it's a little something. <laughs> what is God? Hey! <laughs> this is like a dolly or something. Well, on there. I never used this yet. 
Oh God, wait. Oh my God, what is this? It's an opener thingy, my jig? <laughs> nope. Ah. Uh, all right, hold on, you know. Mm -hmm. I would swear I don't know. I never cooked a party yet. I never reached <laughs> something. I never cooked that this year. Is what this? Oh, what is beef? This is actually used to make an icicle. So it's the fact that you stick into the... You sell them something. Your name. Me must set my ovaries on a my ribs. Me not have no children. Me not make the icicle. <laughs> we buy icicle at supermarket. I wait till four jail pass. That is why. And I said, the uptown one that car. Regular people, we do the, the stick. The fudge stick. We don't do that too softly. Yo, my head hurting me <laughs> the way I'm laughing hard. <laughs> That's how, for the stush people there. Eh, now, the, hear me now, Kedin. Hear me now, right? Yes. Yeah, you're going to use this now because you're on a healthier journey. So you're going to blend up your fruits. Through. And you set your own icicle. Thoroughly. See it there now. Yay. Open your hand. Okay. What is this? Costa. Easy. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. You put the glass and you said, hey, sweetie, you drink. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, ladies, when they serve juice, you wrap it with a napkin. Yeah. What you, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. You need to go Heart, heart Academy. Heart Academy. Big up to Heart Academy. Big up Chef Brian Lumley. You know. Yeah. <laughs> this is a... Jesus, peace. Oh, oh my God. Like when you measure something. Is it a measuring like a, one of the, something for tell you. Um, oh my God. If you're measuring like a teaspoon or a, like a thingy, is it, it comes like in a set. You know, you have the big one and the little one. Is that it? I, like a teaspoon? <laughs> no, it's not it. Is that, oh God. <laughs> You feel some spaces in there? Feel the spaces. Spaces. What is that? Like my nail now, I feel the space. Why am I? Oh God. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Like it, but it's so like if ang. It's like it have a ang something. Oh my God. Um, you put, oh, it, maybe you put a squeeze. Is it a squeezy thingy? No. Like, ah, aha. Oh no. Okay, wait. You put like that squeeze orange? No. Or a lime or like a? No. I don't know. Let me help you. I want to tell you what it is? Yes, please. This is an egg separator. <laughs> yeah, the Jamaican separate egg. The only way we separate egg, we just boil it and pick it up the skin. We don't do that. You see? And the uptown rich people stop here. Look here. We just separate egg. We just fry egg and eat it with bread. We separate our belly. When it go down. You understand? A week. What kind of separated egg? Egg so separator? You, so if you want egg white alone, you crack the egg in here and the yolks stay, feel it in here. So feel it now and vision it. Okay. The yolks sit down here and the white spill over in the spit. You understand? No, I get it. But I'm just saying, this is not really Jamaican. We're not separating anything. We crack the egg, we break it, we add a, um, salt and black pepper. And we, all right, we separate it in our, with our teeth into our bellies. All right, give thanks. <laughs> An egg separator, who knew? You're supposed to know this. You must know this. Must know it. Lord Jesus. It's a something now. Oh God. It's feel like a suction. Mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Wait, so it do what? What do you put it in? Up. What do you put it in? <laughs> Let me give you a clue. This is the right way up. So this go into something and this ridge stick onto something. What it go into? Oh God. Boy. Pot? Mm -mm. <laughs> It's not for the pressure cooker. Oh my god! I don't. I've never used this either. You drink wine. That's the hint. Okay. Is oh, is a wine breather something that make it wine breathe them say? A cork. A cork. Oh, yeah. so sorry. You can put back in the bottle so you can save your champagne. Okay. No, we just done champagne one time. Sorry. Toast. <laughs> <laughs> Toast. Yeah. There? So they must come here with a force. No, yeah. I'm telling this for free. If you get this one. Okay. If you get this one. I'm going to get my trip to the Amalfi Coast. Girl, first class. Okay, hello. I know you got it, girl. The Odyssey. What is this? <sighs> Jesus, Father God. But not to the lie. <laughs> this so like something from ancient days. <laughs> this come like something from. Eh? This feel like a artifact. <laughs> eh? I open this. Is that open? Uh -uh. Jesus, peace. It's coming like with the Arawak, the bit of the Caribs. Eh? This feel. This a open for open something, man. It's a open. <laughs> Yo, oh, I don't know when last I laughed this hard. It's a. What is you? This come like it for God dentist. This feel like a dental. What is this? 
You see like a little opener right here? Take off your, take off your mask and look. Your mask. sleeping mask. Oh my God, I'm, I, I, uh, oh, I'm still not know <laughs> What is this? Do you know what this does? Let me show you. When you have something in the oven or in the grill, you use this and pull it out. Put the only things out of the oven. Talk the truth, God love. You don't say you're just rich. <laughs> when in no. Jamaica we have things in the oven, we just drag it out. So we say, aye, <laughs> aye. That's something that burned me, aye. <laughs> or you get your mitten, you get your mitten, <sighs> and you put it on, and you just grab it out. A you week. know? No, me set you up. Me yeah, set you we up. don't have oven. Wait, where that it says that's our an oven drawer. I actually don't know what it means. I take pass and see for Amazon. That sounds like something Martha Stewart have. <laughs> Not true. Yeah, like I, I don't be really. No, yeah. I've never seen that. <laughs> Normally, we just push in and or we use a kitchen the towel, towel and we draw away. Yeah, true. that's what Talk we true. do <laughs> around. We didn't draw no oven, nothing around here at all. But that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you. That was actually. So how much we get out of how much? You get this wrong, what this we? wrong, this wrong. You got these right. So you actually won. You See got there? four hey. out of seven. Hey, hey, okay, now. Okay. hey, to Ooh. us. Hey, hey. Send it back on me with a hey. Put this in your champagne to us. Hey, <laughs> with a rise and buzz. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> I have a That's... gift to give you. Oh, really? Thank I you. Do. Gratitude is a must. I would like. Yes. To present to you. Yes. This gift. Aww. From our partner, Sajiko. <laughs> and this gift as well. Aww. Oh my God. Aww. Just to thank you so much it for made me cry. everything you do. To thank Aww. you so much for everything you represent. Thank you. To thank you so much for. <laughs> thank you. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Just to thank you for oh, the ray of guys. hope you are for so many of us. Oh, thank you. Kitty, what you do is special. Thank you. And we really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank I you appreciate. so much for sharing in this space with me. Thank you for having me. And I know it's been a while. Uh, you know, oh my God. I just, oh, I'm so grateful. This is my mom. <laughs> like she's my anchor. I want to. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And I know when she sees it, she's going to love it. And I absolutely love it. And I love you. And I'm proud of you. And thank you so much for what you do as well. And it's absolutely amazing. And, you know, yendi to the world. It's that nice. Kitty to the world. La, 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 la. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is so pretty. Oh. I feel like a Gladys Knight without the pips. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. Thank you, Sajikor. Thank you, Yendi. Thank you, I really Mama. appreciate it. Thank you. And, you know, sometimes when you're working or when you are in the trenches, you don't know who is watching or if anybody is watching at all. And when people can compliment you, I really take, you know, heart. And it really gives me the impetus to go hard and work hard and continue to do what I'm doing. And that is why my fans mean a lot to me. I'm very grateful to them. And I'm grateful to persons for taking the time out to acknowledge me. And I'm very appreciative because a lot of times it's not until the person dead and gone. Then somebody will say, boy, you know, so she did good. You know, unfortunately, some persons have a difficulty with congratulating, but they don't hesitate to condemn. So I thank you and your team for the warm welcome, your hospitality. Thank you so much for your patience and thank you for having me. And I thank you so much for my wonderful gifts. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. You're nice, bad. Thank you. You're clean bar. Like it. This is so nice. Thank you, guys. Yay! Odyssey with Yendi Untold Journeys was brought to you in partnership with Sajikor and MasterCard.